The Wonders come to town and win over the favored Westerwind Falcons tonight, 34 to 10. Let's go field site. Here's Woody Kane as he's got Coach Massey, I believe. Winning Coach Ron Massey and, and Coach, I know you guys put 34 points on the board, but what an effort by your defense. This is a team that had been averaging some 38 points a game. You hold them to 10, something like uh, 3 out of 13 on third down conversions. Well, it, it, you know, our defense has shown that they could play like that all year. And, and tonight, uh, you know, our defense and staff just prepares them. Uh, they do a great job in preparation during the week. And uh, the kids went out there and, and uh, they carried out their assignments. And, and that's kind of what happened. Offensively, you know, I thought we, we had some good moments in the first half against a very good defense, too. Their defense pretty doggone good, too. And uh, should have, you know, we we'll go out there and we fumble, give them short field. Defense does a great job keeping them to a field goal. That was big. And then we, we come back and, and, you know, get up in the lead, and then we come back and got a chance to put it away, I think, you know, going in 21-3 at half. And we don't score. But then we come back, and they go three and out, and we take the ball back down and score. So, you know, that said a lot for our offense, that, that, that series. And uh, then after that, we probably were playing, you know, just a little conservative, wanting to make the clock run because our defense was playing so well. What did you talk with your kids about at halftime? You go in 14-3. to three. What did you talk about for the second half with your you know, kids? We just talked about, you know, we, we've played them for the last six years since I've been here. And we've gone in halftime up 21 to nothing and went in overtime. And, uh, you know, they didn't get to be number one in the state for no reason. We knew we were going to get their best shot. So we talked to them about coming out and taking that shot in the third quarter and responding to it, and, and our kids did. I read this week where you said you really felt like this team came into their own in the Sun Valley game, and you've just seen an awful lot of heart and emotion from this squad. Is that more about what this team is about than the talent itself? Well, you know, every team has their own, I guess, identity. So... I think this one's making theirs. Uh, you know, a lot of people early in the season, you know, sitting in the stands and bad mouth them and everything. And I hope they're eating their words right now. To be honest with you, but uh, I'm very proud of them. They just uh, they continue to work hard. Uh, they didn't come about easy. Uh, it's been a lot of hard work, and, and they're the ones that have done it, so they deserve all the credit. And unofficially, Coach, we're here in Charlotte Catholic won their game, so another road game for your team next week. Yeah, well, we knew it was going to be a road game, <laughs> so, uh, but that doesn't matter. You, we're playing in the fourth round, so you know, at least it's not uh, very far, and hopefully we'll take a great crowd up there like we did tonight. Congratulations, Coach, and good luck next week. Right, thanks very much. Okay, Randy, the Wonders go to 13-1, and and they'll go to Charlotte Catholic next week. Back to you.